This is just beautiful to see. I feel like winter just boom came here, but this is not actually abnormal to see snow at this time of year, correct? Mm, correct, not at all. We, we in, in fact, we hope that we can get a lower snow level down to at least 3,000 feet by the time we get to Thanksgiving air time at the end of this month. Anyway, we all want to go early skiing, so that means at Thanksgiving that would be early skiing. So we're crossing our fingers. We're just getting started here as the temperatures were low enough to come down to 3,000 feet and just below to bring that snow to the mountains. And we'll hope that it stays low, but we know it won't. In fact, as we go for the next several weeks, we're probably gonna see that snow level go up high and things are gonna melt off below the 3,000 foot level or below the 4,000 foot level. And we're gonna see them vacillate up and down. But right now we're just celebrating a little fall rain here in the lowlands. It's in definite areas where it's heavier in places than others. One would be on the coast, just sweeping across Hoquiam, and another would be up around Everett and Woodenville, and we're also seeing some moderate to heavy showers a little farther south. But I was watching it on our school net station at Wishka Valley School where there was sunshine, there was clouds, and there was a lot of rain. As you can see, the showers go by, and now we're getting back to some sunshine. And that sun plus rain is going to bring in a risk of a thunderstorm as we get into the afternoon and early evening. So Everett, Payne Field, soggy, wet looking uh, Payne Field right now. That's because you're in the middle of that moderate to heavy shower. Downtown Seattle, it's drier. 47 degrees, winds out of the north northwest at about three miles an hour. So wind will not be an issue, but the rainfall is going to create a lot of slick roadways and you'll have to just take it slow, especially this afternoon when we could have that sun break and then potential of a heavy shower or thunderstorm with some small hail in it that will make the roads very slippery very quickly. So you see I-5 definitely getting its douse of rain, dose of rain, I should say. We're getting that moderate shower anywhere from Everett southward to uh, Woodenville almost all the way down to Kenmore. But farther south, we've got the moderate rain as well coming into the southwest interior. PL, one of the places that gets quite a bit of rainfall this time of year because of those winds, how they hit the Olympics. But uh, certainly staying on the wet side today. These are the showers that will wrap up tonight. Current temperatures are in the low to mid 40s. We're expecting the University of Washington high resolution model to show us the showers now. And this is a pretty good depiction. So as we get to 530 tonight, we're still going to have showers in a band stretching from Tacoma southward and then through the night those will wrap up. So we'll expect to stake on the cloudier side all the way into early tomorrow morning. La Push right now you're getting one of those nice beautiful sun breaks just priming you for that risk of a thunderstorm this afternoon. Temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 40s so we're a little warmer today than we were yesterday. Showers partly sunny in the lowlands just a slight risk of a thunderstorm around the lowlands today but something to keep in mind as you're out and about in the afternoon your highs are going to steep stay in the mid 40s and we're going to go into Veterans Day mostly cloudy only a very few showers there will be places that stay dry much of the day but then we get another round of rain and wind as we come into Thursday it'll be rainy and breezy Friday as we get in the afternoon and evening wind and rain and the wind's going to be especially strong around the, the north interior and the coast oh, good to know thank you so much Rebecca